Okay, it's been a little while since I uh, filmed one of these and uh, I got uh, stuck in a section in my Gen Chem 2 class that I thought maybe I could help others without because it was really confusing for me. What I'm looking at here obviously is a cube. Uh, I just grabbed this from Wiki Commons, I think, uh, Google search anyway. I uh, want to talk about how you can find the relationship between the radius of an atom in a, in a body centered cubic unit cell. Uh, to its edge, uh, edge length. So here's how I was able to figure it out eventually. First thing, we're looking for a wrong tool. We're looking for this edge right here, or maybe we want to know the relationship between the radius of the center atom, because there's going to be one dead center, and the ones on the edge. What's its radius, and how does that relate to this? Well, the first thing you want to do is find out where the center of that of that atom in the middle is, and you can do that by connecting these two right here, okay, like so. Okay, now we now we have an idea, uh, more or less, of where the uh, center atom will be. And this section right here, this line or this line, whichever one you want to reference, half of that is going to be dead center, right, and half of that again is going to be the center of the other circle. Paint that better here. I said circle, I meant sphere, right? So what we could do, let me see if I can grab a circle tool here and do this somewhat intelligently, is I could say, um, oh, let's do it like this. Uh, here comes my Photoshop skills, right? Uh, that's, that's pretty close right, to what I drew, although I could probably trust the tool better. All right, that's going to be your center atom right there. Let's dial that down a little bit so we can see what's going on. All right, so that's where the center one's going to be, right? And uh, the diagonals are going to touch. So if we wanted to, we could even just copy that here and say uh, that this ought to go about like so, and uh, the next atom would go about like that. What did I just do? I have no idea. <laughs> I think I threw that away when I meant to copy it. Okay, so if I bring this up here, that's the third atom. Now, there are other atoms on the corners too, right? There's going to be uh, an atom, let me get the brush, uh, there's going to be an atom here, there's going to be an atom here, and they're all going to kind of get chopped off. There'll be one on each corner, right? Okay. But we're, what we're concerned with here is the radius. So if this is R, this radius from here to here, right? Then there's going to be an entire line going on we can follow and get its length from that and this oops wrong tool again a little time off I get rusty look at me okay so here we go if I go from here to here okay, that line is gonna have a value of 4r right okay now there's gonna be another line let's let's pick a better color this is the this is the hypotenuse of a triangle I'm looking at here. Okay, right here is going to be one of the sides of that triangle, and this rectangle kind of sucks actually now that I'm looking at it because I want you to think of this piece right here as being a right triangle. Okay, and they just kind of distorted the shape to be fancy, but I should have left that straight vertical so it's less confusing. All right, so let's just imagine a little shade right here. If that helps you understand what I'm trying to do. Okay. So this angle right here, like if I wanted to draw a line out here, this is also a right angle. Okay. All right. So we know that this hypotenuse from here to here, that's going to be 4R. Right. All right. Now we know that the edge length, if we wanted to call it D, is going to be the same here. This is going to be D also from here to here, right? And from here to here is also D. All right. Well, with that we have two triangles. This is a right triangle here also. If you think of it inside of the box, I think inside the box. <laughs> okay. So anyway, this D plus this d squared plus this d squared 
will equal the hypotenuse here. And it might make it easier if we just uh, label those now. And so let's go ahead and do that. I'm going to say that this is A, okay, this point right here. And then we'll make this B. Put on your geometry hat. This will be C. And this will be D. Okay. Now the reason I did that is because if I know this length is 4R squared, and I know that this is D. Well, let's, what, what do you know about the? What do we know about the first uh, triangle, the vertical one? Well, I can say that 4R squared is equal to, and that's that should be like this, right? Be careful. Is equal to D squared plus. Well, I don't know this length right here, but I know that it's AC. Right, the line AC squared, whatever that length is. Okay, now if I look here at this triangle, I, I know that AC squared okay, that should be the line AC squared. This one right here squared is equal to D squared plus D squared. And that's convenient because we didn't know what d squared was, but we know what these are. And now we can say that 4 r actually let me back up. Let's let's do that in a new color so that it looks oh, like I'm doing something different. I don't know, blue. How about blue? Okay, so 4 r the whole thing squared, right? Because it's r r r r sound like a pirate. <laughs> For r squared equals, well, d squared plus ac, which is equal to d squared plus d squared. Or if you wanted to, you could just say that 16 r squared is equal to 3d squared. Now you could Take the square root on uh, square root. That's my Utah coming through, not root, rut, something like that. Okay, so four r is equal to the square root of three d times d, right? Or if it's uh, better for you, maybe this is a better way of writing it. Let's go one more back. Come on now, is equal to d times the square root of 3. Now you can solve for either side and you have something pretty useful. Here's where you're likely to see it in a question in your homework or maybe a question on an exam. I don't know, I actually haven't had an exam on this yet, but I'm guessing this is going to come up. They might tell you that the length d in uh, is 195 picometers of some uh, metal lattice structure or some I, I have no idea what me element this would be off the top of my head but uh, if you know that it's this many picometers across on the edge then you can figure out just from this relationship what the radius of that atom is by its unit cell length. Hope that helped. Thanks. Bye.